What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy, the prophet? Hey, yo, man, we back plugged in again. On days like this, I am, first of all, I'm overjoyed. I'm sure you guys see the title, the thumbnail. We have the news of the thousand year blood war resurrections, okay? Wait, Brock West, bitch, what? Wait, Brock West? Oh my god. Brawl Quest is coming back. This is the best event in the game for farming editing brushes, bro. This is this game mode is the cream of the crop for farming editing brushes. You're going to get anywhere between 2 to 10 editing brushes per five times run bro like this quest is insane for editing brushes. i had no idea bra quest was coming we just got it seems like less than six months ago so that is actually very very insane uh chronicle quest selection we'll just take a quick look at this it seems like they didn't give us news about this in game oh there's gonna be different chronicle quests for the different banners and they're all 7%. Five star guaranteed every three steps. Okay. Um, do I think there's value in this? Chronicle Quest is pretty important, but um, you know, it's not really a, a deal that I would go ahead and be summoning for characters. But uh, let's go ahead and see here. All right. So. First of all, we did, um, I just got asked this question on the stream today, but we did get asked if the, uh, since the swimsuit characters are in the banner, does that mean, you know, are in the, um, the epic raid bonuses? Since during the epic raid bonuses, are they going to be, uh, summonable? And yes, we do see here that the swimsuit characters in this banner does include two super potion characters. The Momo as well as the Nelia are both super potion. Then the Asana, she's heart potion plus as well as, well, she's mind droplets plus as well as um, link slot potion. So she's uh, potions and droplets. So this is an absolute farmer's dream as far as this banner. This is going to help your account a lot because having these potion drop characters are going to get you pretty much in every single co-op aside from being a, a sprout but the most hype thing of today the new the resurrected thousand blower round one resurrection stats and skills information is here okay so we can take a look here at since we killed aku here and see that his soul trait he got strong attack recharge so just you know what i'm saying give that up you know what i'm saying Bruiser 30% damage inflicted at full stamina 20. What? Follow up? What? Follow up? They doing that? They doing that? Okay. So he gets SAR and an additional 20% full stamina damage. Uh, so that's going to give him 40%, you know, uh, Berserker innately, basically uh, with Havoc. Um long reach sprinter follow up is crazy because he's uh he has really really fast like nad strikes he's you know kind of i'm not gonna say a hybrid character because he's definitely a strong type a spiritual uh, pressure based character but um he's always accentuated his nad which is why he has 30 you know bruiser damage and full stamina and long reach and follow up so uh, full stam obviously is for normal attack, soul bombs, and strong attack. But um, yeah, so he does always stay with stuff that's going to accentuate his normal attack. So that is very, very hype. If he got follow up, please, I need him to have havoc. Okay. So we got 16% strong attack, damage as his link, ring the fucking bell. You know what I'm saying? And looking at his skills. I'm not seeing them, even though they're on screen right now. I'm not looking. 
Damage to frozen enemies, 20. Debilitator. Devastation, 40. Frenzy. Havoc. Long reach. Sprinter. Weekend. Defense. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay, so he did not get full stamina damage, but he got damage to frozen enemies. So um, that's going to be a really good option as well. You know, it's going to help his soul bomb damage, of course, and it's going to be a consistent buff whenever he does, you know, get those freeze procs, right? And he already had weakened defense. That was one of the reasons that this character is so upper echelon, um, as well as his kit. So he will have uh, Havoc, and his first strong attack is going to be roughly 750 AoE with a moving forward, you know, momentum of a lunge. So... That is going to be absolutely monstrous. He's going to have a unique first strong attack, being, you know, a 750 lunge with Havoc. The Biakia, we need to see Frenzy here, bro. We need to see Sar, and we need to see Frenzy, and keep his bombardment. Strong attacks? We got Sar. We got Recharge. He has bombardment. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I only see 40 Berserker. Oh, I only see 40 Berserker. Multi-barrier, weakened defense, but no frenzy. No. No. Oh, he's at least going to be a really good link for technique. 40 Berserker. Bombardment, 30 Bruiser, Devastation. Wait, he got... That's so dumb. Why get from Bombardment and Devastation instead of just giving him Frenzy, bro? He did get Multi-Barrier, but why give him Multi-Barrier and not Frenzy, bro? Like, this character isn't about to be game-breaking, bro. Like, why not just give him Frenzy? I can almost guarantee you he did not have 30 devastation with bombardment before. He did not have that. So that's a new skill. He already had weakened defense with bombardment. Multi they gave him multi barrier, bro. That was on the wish list. That was on the wish list, but frenzy is more important, dog. It's just uh wow. All right, let's hope they gave Sajin Gar break. Ah who, who reacted? I'm dead. Definitely uh, 12 DR. I think last ditch Loki would have been better. Flurry. Okay. They gave him Flurry. We can defense. No guard break. No guard break. Berserker. Bruiser. Flurry. Follow up. Long reach. Poise. Sprinter. We can defense. Why no guard break, man? Why no guard break? Why no guard break? So, no guard break. Um, so basically the, the two best characters already just got even better while the two that needed the most improvement got shafted even further. Like, Sajin, his link is good, but there, it's always going to be better to have 16 DR and then 16 normal attack damage. So these need to be flip-flopped because 12 DR ain't it. It's not it. Because some people have 20. That's a lot. Okay. Flurry follow-up. And it's like they gave them an extra skill. Like they gave them an extra skill. Two extra skills, bro. They gave them two extra skills, bro. And missed the mark, bro. Like, follow up is totally new on him. And I'm not 100% sure if he had weakened defense, but um, for sure he got, I'm pretty sure he got two new skills because they all did. Biak got devastation and multi barrier. And like, his, his link is perfect, but Tosh is perfect. They did Tosh perfect. The only thing I would change about Tosh is give him full stamina damage rather than damage to frozen enemies. 
because that damage that 20 percent is contingent on you procking the status element and even in something like it once you proc the status element, you've already shed the iron skin so um i'd have rather full stamina damage but on soul bomb he always will have that guaranteed freeze damage but toshiro definitely got hooked up he's still the best of the bunch i would damn near say by far um he got since we got better magnification though i wish tosh would have got full stamina damage instead of damage for them i know i just repeated myself but so his new skills are damage to frozen enemies and then havoc he had all the other skills and then shun sui's new skills um damage inflicted at full stamina that's new and follow-up art is new as him for uh, as well new for him as well so uh that's pretty much the news we didn't really get anything else in game but make sure you guys sound in let me know how you guys feel about this in the description or in the uh, comment box down below and uh yeah make sure you guys check the description of my tiktok please follow me on tiktok road to 20k subs on youtube let's get my tiktok and the social media is popping as well so hopefully i see you guys in the next live stream or video so we gotta do it till next time let's go i'm out <laughs>